This segment is brought to you by Kansas Wheat. Learn more at rediscoverwheat.org. Good morning and welcome back to Farm Factor. First, Kyle Bauer visits with Carl Garten, who's developing a solar water pump and tire tank project. Hi, this is Kyle Bauer in Dickinson County. have the opportunity to visit with Carl Garten. Uh, they are installing a solar-powered pumping unit on a farm that he's involved with. Uh, Carl, why did you uh, want to develop this project? Well, this site here, we have a little over a quarter of grass, about 170 acres. The only place we have water on it is clear on the east side, so the cattle have to walk a full mile uh, from the west side to get to water. Uh, soil site type here is very sandy. We uh, have tried putting ponds before, just can't hold enough water. And so we've uh, looked at uh, putting in a well. We have good water, groundwater here. It's, in this case here, we're about 50 foot to water. And uh, so we looked at using a solar system, or I even looked at a windmill. Cost-wise, the windmill was going to be a little, and then the other challenge you have with the windmill is finding people to work on those, that type of thing. Most people that are, you know, put in pumps are willing to put in solar pumps, too. And so I did have several cooperators or uh, plumbers here that uh, were willing to put the system in. In this case here, we decided to put it in ourselves with uh, the help of uh, Herschel George from K-State and uh, made a demonstration out of it too and that way we could kind of stretch this project out. Uh, you know, you hire somebody, they're going to come in here and want to do it real fast and this way we can stretch it out and still make it a demo. But mainly so we could get full utilization of this pasture. Um, with having water clear on one side, we don't get cattle coming clear to the west side to utilize the grass fully. This pond is located about three-fourths of a mile into the pasture and so there, we got water now on the west side. They still can go to the east side, water there too. And so we'll have two watering sources out here in the mile distance. Will you normally use this pasture in the summer or the winter? We do a little both. Um, usually we'll put cattle out here. Uh, the, my operator that's here uh, uh, uses it early in the spring when he's still putting uh, embryos or AI in those cows. And then once they're all uh, bred, he'll then move them on off of here and then this pasture will set completely empty uh, until mid-September so about two and a half three months and then uh, we'll utilize it again early in the winter uh, here so right now he's got about 30 40 cows out here utilizing this grass now as he's bringing them home. So something that would work in both hot and cold weather was one of your considerations? Right and then what if it gets to the point where this thing is actually freezing they can be then utilize the water that's up at the house where we've got heated uh, watering systems. So it'll work great for this type of situation we have here. We're visiting with Carl Garten. We're in Dickinson County working on a solar uh, powered water supply. This is Kyle Bauer reporting. Back to you, Jamie. Stay with us for more Farm Factor as Kyle catches up with Herschel George, a K-State watershed specialist. Next time you see a beautiful field of corn, reach out and thank the farmers who work tirelessly to raise corn for livestock feed, renewable fuels, and exports to feed a growing world population. The farmers on the Kansas Corn Commission work for Kansas Corn with grower-funded checkoff dollars that support foreign and domestic market development, research, promotion, and education to expand opportunities for Kansas farmers. To learn more, visit kscorn.com.